How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually a bit of a comparison between the SIG P320 and the SIG P365XL. Uh, the fire control groups, the safety, uh, the function of the safety, that sort of thing. And I know that the SIG 320 has been the subject of some controversy over the years due to the drop safe issue that was discovered in a lot of earlier models. Now, since that time, SIG issued a voluntary recall and uh, or a voluntary upgrade program, not a recall, just an upgrade program, and made changes to the firearm. Uh, since the uh, release of the model that I have, uh, mine is one of the newer models. Uh, you know, there were changes made in it. It did not have to become part of the upgrade program, but there is still a lot of controversy regarding these pistols. Uh, what I wanted to do here in this video is actually show you a comparison between it and the XL, the 365, show you just how similar they are. While there are uh, not a lot of people complaining about the 365, uh, but they still are uh, complaining about the 320 when there are still a lot of similarities between these two guns when it comes to their safety features. If you will notice on the 365 and the 320, we will just do a comparison between the two, each of these two guns. Uh, the sear on each of these two guns, it does have, uh, you can see the ledge there on the 320 right here on the right and then the 365 over here on the left when you depress the trigger the firearm will disengage the safety block on each you know on the firearm on the slide which we can see on the 365 right here uh, you can see it on the 320 right here okay neither one of these firearms can uh, will allow the firing pin to go forward unless that firing pin block is disengaged. That sponginess that you feel in the trigger on these guns when you begin to press them, that is the uh, fire, that block being disengaged, that firing pin block being disengaged from the gun. And it's the same, it's very similar on a Glock, it's a little bit different design, but it works virtually the same. Uh, these two guns, uh, you know, the main difference, of course, is the size. Uh, there are a few other differences, but as far as function, they are very similar. Okay, uh, you know, all striker fire guns, there's going to be some type of a firing pin block. There is going to be some type of, uh, you know, once you disengage the firing pin block, at that point, the break is where the firing pin uh, sear releases the firing pin, allowing it to go forward and strike the cartridge. Uh, you know, there is, uh, you know, a lot of controversy still on the 320. I, I still see it in comments on videos that I've done on the 320. The 320, in my opinion, is still, it is safe, uh, especially the newer models. The drop safety issue was addressed. Uh, you know, there were some things done, and uh, I really think I have, you know, confidence in this firearm. The SIG P320 uh, or 365 does not have the controversy because I think that, you know, it's not uh, been used as much by law enforcement. There's not been the reported incidents, which there's a lot of details, a lot of behind uh, the main headline story on a lot of those cases. You know, if a uh, law enforcement officer is injured due to a negligent discharge, there's a big investigation. And if, uh, you know, they don't want to admit fault because then they can be held accountable. You know, if they mishandle a firearm, that's just how things are. So, uh, you know, with the controversy surrounding the 320, uh, you know, that is where uh, they try to blame the gun, in my opinion, in many of these cases. I have yet to see anyone be able to show me mechanical proof of the failure of the newer 320s. The 365s, we don't hear about the controversies on them. Law enforcement, you know, they typically do not carry this subcompact firearm. There may be some out there that carry it as a backup gun. Uh, if you do, and if, you, if any of you all do, let me know down in the comments below. But the actions are very similar. The safeties are very similar. They're both very reliable in my opinion. They are both very good for concealed carry. 
you know, go back and check out some of the previous videos that I've done where I get into a lot of the details on the 320 as far as how that safety operates, as well as detailing the uh, things that would have to fail before that firearm could go off. But guys, this is just a quick comparison that I wanted to do. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, what are your thoughts on the 320? Uh, are you worried that it still has issues? Uh, what are your thoughts on the 365? Do you think that it could face the same issues that the 320 did? Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Let me hear from you, and we'll see you next time.